Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell. If you're interested in learning how to read tarot and checking out some of the courses that are available, you can do so. There are links in the description box below. So let's begin your tarot card reading. I'm seeing from these energies, right? There is a sense of things that are changing in this relationship that you share with this person. Now, these changes, they're big and profound changes. They are going to be affecting your life. They are going to be affecting this individual's life. There's no way around it, okay? It is inevitable. Now, depending on how you carry yourself in the situation and how this individual carries themselves in this situation, you know, it is going to affect the outcome, but there is things that are happening, you know, in the planetary systems, in terms of things that are already, you know, sort of written in the stars, you know, it's going to determine the vast majority of your life with regard to this individual. So I do feel like there's something stepping into uh, play here. Yeah, there's something that you can't see, you can't understand. You know, it's having the sort of greater meaning and it's teaching you lessons that you cannot ignore, that you have to pay attention to. And that's very important for you to be aware of during this time. The next energy that I'm seeing is that, you know, there is a heavy sense of loss here, right? Now, if this individual that you're dealing with treated you badly or, you know, behaved in a way that didn't really honor what you were bringing into their life, there's a guilt, a sense of guilt that they cannot shake off from the situation. Because when I go deep into this energy, I get the sense that this individual knew that they were doing certain things to push your buttons. They knew about it, right? You know, when you know that you're doing something wrong, but you do it anyways, it feels as if this is the type of guilt they may have to carry with them for the rest of their life. And that is something that is not easy to bear in a situation. It feels like a weight on their shoulders right now. That's what I'm sensing. And it's creating this heaviness. It's creating a heaviness on their back. And they, they could be slouching, feeling slumped down, just feeling like, um, you know, the wind has been kicked out of them. It feels like that sort of energy. So I do feel like this individual is starting to also recognize that this situation, as much as they wanted to control it and be in power, you know, there's certain things that have been happening. There's some sort of thing that is protecting you, Aries. There's some sort of thing that is surrounding you in terms of your energy. You know, I feel like... Um, it could be your spirit guides, it could be your ancestors, if you believe in such a thing, you know, it could be, um, you know, your grandparents, if they have passed over, or somebody, or, you know, some sort of force that you don't really see, that is guiding you and protecting you. But there's also the planetary alignments, the things that are happening, you know, I feel like you're divinely protected. That's an energy I'm picking up right now. So this individual is looking at the situation, thinking to themselves that, you know, whatever they tried, whatever they tried to do in the situation, it just, you know, it always felt as if the odds were against them. It always felt as if, you know, they were trying to do things to purposely set you off. But I don't know if this individual understood that it would have consequences to a great degree. They didn't think that you would, you know, leave or that you would grow fed up and that you would be like, you know, enough is enough. I can't take it anymore because I do feel like you didn't want to uh, allow for things to get to this point, but you just sort of felt as if, you know, um, you know, they keep going in that sort of path. They just kept going in that sort of path and they were on the wrong path. It's like an individual driving on the wrong lane on the road, you know, most likely towards oncoming traffic. And that's what I see this individual doing, right? And when a person is on the wrong path and they know, you know, when they see those headlights and you've been giving them warning signs, you've been giving them red flags 
and they just don't care, you know, you kind of think, did this individual lose their mind? You know, why are they antagonizing you? Why are they making this worse? These are some of the things some of you may have thought during this period of time. You may have not been able to rationalize it because you're so straightforward, so direct. You're always, you know, speaking your truth. And I feel like, you know, there's something about this individual that they weren't registering. Now, the next card is showing to me this interesting energy of where, you know, there's this hope, there's this stubbornness I'm also picking up from this individual's energy. There's this stubbornness of wanting to um, make things the way that they were, to try to go back to how things were in the past tense, the past tense. That's what I'm picking up, right? And why I repeated those words is because this individual is not thinking about the present, not thinking about the future, lamenting about the past, but not thinking about living in the present and creating a new future. Instead, they want things to go back to the old times, the good old times. You know, I don't believe in good old days, you know, I feel like the present moments and going towards the future is so much more exciting than the past. It's always going to be like that, you know, even if your head is turning gray, there's something beautiful about growing older. So the past, I don't feel like interests many of you in the sense that you think about it and feel a sense of sadness. I always feel like the Aries energy is always moving forward rapidly, it's sort of like um, the type of individuals that have this beam of light, you know, that is carrying them to new destinations, new opportunities, whether it's in love, career, etc. So this energy is showing to me that they still feel as if you know, that period of time was far better than what they're going through right now, but they were making mistakes along those, you know, uh, different uh, events or experiences or chapters that the two of you were sharing with each other. And they feel like they were in their power back then because they were getting away or may have thought they were getting away with, you know, uh, bullying you or treating you, mistreating you and not giving you that sort of respect you deserve in a situation. So... When I look at the next card, I'm seeing here uh, the greatest thing that upsets them the most right now, well, one of them, right, is the fact that they made plans. They had an idea of where they wanted things to go, and it didn't go in that direction, right? And that's something that's a heavy burden for them to carry. I feel like you're dealing with an individual who tries to be strategic but can never really outsmart you because they feel like you figured it out somewhere along the way and you're like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not playing to that tune. I'm not going along with that game. You know, I feel like trying to control you is futile, futile. So every time they make a plan and if there's something that you don't agree with or there's something that, uh, you, you know, you will object to, I feel like this individual gets disappointed but gets back up and makes the same stupid plan over and over again. You know, they have this own little way of coming to uh, their own little conclusions. What I'm picking up from these particular energies is that, number one, they think they're smart. Number two, I feel like these kind of little uh, strange behaviors, it works well on other people, but it doesn't work on you. Okay, I don't feel like anybody can really control an Aries, but I feel like in this situation, this individual thought they could, and they always had that hope. So now they're trying to think about, you know, well, before I could do these things, why, why are things changing now, right? It feels as if the rules have changed, because it feels as if, as if some mode of communication has changed between the two of you. Either you cut them off or you pulled back immensely. It feels like the attention that you show to this individual is not as it was before. So that's what I'm picking up from this energy. They're lamenting over those times when they could just correspond to you. You know, maybe they were using fake aliases. Maybe they were using uh, secret accounts. Maybe they were doing it directly. Whatever means they were using, it might have been uh, their, uh, you know, sort of way of feeling safe. But I see that things have changed in the way that you are not putting up with some things that you used to before. And they're feeling disappointed that their plans didn't work in the way that they wanted it to, right? What I'm also sensing from the cards is that um, there's this sort of energy where they look at the situation and the disappointment 
very, very heavily stems in this energy of not really being able to have that four of wands moment toward, with you, right? Maybe it could have been um, marriage, maybe it could have been commitment, maybe it could have been coming together, reconciliation, could have been anything. But, um, you know, that celebratory moment, they didn't have that. And I feel like they were looking forward to that, right? And that has escaped them now because something has changed in the situation. I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. I'm going to be looking at how things have changed. You know, what are going to be the effects of it? Because when I look into this individual's energy alone, it's going to show a different dimension to uh, what they're really going through and uh, what's on their mind, what is their next plan of action, etc. It's going to go very deep into that. You can find the link in the description box below, Aries. Have a wonderful day. And thank you for visiting my channel. Take care.